Hey everybody, the Bong is here, ready to give you a brand new Let's Play! Earthworm Jim 3D for the Nintendo 64. Alright, this is coming off the heels after I finished Power Blade 2 for the NES. And just like I did for Power Blade 2, I spun a wheel with a whole bunch of letters on it. And I would start a Let's Play based on what letter it started with. So I wound up getting E. And to be honest, I looked at my library, I did not do a lot of games that started with E. And there's a few that came to mind that start with E. There was Eternal Sonata for the PlayStation 3, which, you know, I'm currently in the middle of a JRPG, so I didn't want to start that one yet. There was Eternal Ring for the PS2. Sadly, not Elden Ring, although I would love to play Elder Elden Ring at some point. Excite Bikes, another one. And those are the ones I can think of off the top of my head. And another one I thought of was Earthworm Jim 3D, because I already did the other two Earthworm Jim games. Even though the creator of Earthworm Jim is a piece of garbage. But I won't get too much into that yet. So let's just start a game, shall we? You join us in County Hospital, where our hero is in bad shape. His latest cow bashing has turned his brain to worm mush. Things look pretty bad. Only a miracle can save our boy now. At his bedside, close family and celebrity buddies fear the worst. They are powerless to help, the nurse searching for a sign shakes his head. Now the battle is in Jim's mind. Literally. Yeah, the whole premise of this game takes place in his brain. If it gets a little scratchy, I do apologize. This is like done through RetroArk. I know you can get this on Steam, but I don't want to spend, pay any money to some guy that involved in Earthworm Jim who's a piece of crap. <laughs> so I do it for free. There you go. <laughs> Earthworm Jim? Is that you? Uh, I don't know. I feel sort of funny. I feel smaller. Yeah, that's it. Smaller, but groovier. I am Peter Puppy, your best friend and brain tour guide. You must be Jim's super ego. Released by your brains is the last line of defense to stop total lobal annihilation. What is this place? Is there a restroom in here? I really gotta go. This is Brain Central, the fuse box of your mind. It's where your four worm brains connect and... No, you'll have to wait. Right now, the brains are in turmoil and your sanity is in danger. Your worst fears and anxieties have been released and are trashing your tiny mind. Face up to a gym. Oh, my controller didn't disconnect. You've lost your marbles, and you better get them back. No mere thought is mightier than the superego of Earthworm Jim. Bring on the bad guys. Not just yet, buddy. Before you can go there, I am contractually obliged to supply some information. Collect your marbles to fix the fabric of your mind. The more you get, the higher your IQ will be. And as you get smarter, the doors will open up in your head. Finding golden udders will recharge the powers of the sacred cow of contemplation. It controls the portals to your brains and is your only chance for full recovery. Take this first udder and begin your quest. And remember, Earthworm Jim, your brain is a dangerous place. So, this is where Earthworm Jim 3D tried to be, like, Banjo-Kazooie. You have your golden udders, which kind of function like jiggies. And then you have marbles that function as music notes. Not. Hey, Jimmy, remember me? It's me, Snot. Your bestest booger buddy. I'm here to help you. When you see me run right over, I'll give you a tip to help you out. You can't really run. You're a booger. Alright, happiness. This must be a hub. Oh, I don't have enough udders to be happy. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> Guess it's depression for me forever! Alright, so I will say that it actually does run pretty well on RetroArch. 
Unfortunately, like, sometimes the audio gets a little scratchy, so bear with me on that one. I think this one is memory. Oh, that does not sound obnoxious at all. <laughs> hey. Use the camera to explore your head. See left and see right rotate your view. See up button will zoom the camera in and out. Hold down R button and the camera will stay behind you. Hold down R button and press C up to look around. Then use the control stick to direct your view. Press C up again to return to the normal view. Okay, camera controls. Got it. Hey. Who dares confront the sacred cow of memories at a shiny altar? It is I, Earthworm Jim! Superhero turned super ego! Can it be the chosen worm? Actually, you've come at a bad time. Could you call back? Don't stand in my way, cow! I've been sent to fix things! Your arch enemy, Psycho, has invaded this brain and fixated on a single bad memory. You might not think you remember that terrible farmyard war of 72, but you do. You were still a child when the war ended, but it was locked in your mind. Now you must travel into the past to resolve the conflict between the beasts, and end this clucking hell. By the great worm spirit, I will write this wrong. No crow messes with my head. Before you go to work, you'll need to know about getting into your mind. The doors around here will only open when you find enough marbles. Break the marble high score in each area of your brain to increase the total marble count. Use the start button to check your high scores to date. I'll open the first door for free. And watch out, worm guy. There's a farmyard out there. So yeah, it goes by a high score system as it did in Banjo-Kazooie when it was originally for the N64. You collect as many marbles as you can, but if you die, you're reset at zero and you have to it's pick them all up again. Alright, so here's our first level. Coup Coop de ta. Use Hallyhead, buddy. Press A button twice. A running jump will get you further. Okay. So all the marbles are going to be green, so at least they'll be easy to spot. The longer you hold down the A button, the higher you jump. Press B button and the A button to do a super groovy jump. Yeah, that's actually going to be really helpful for tall areas. Hold on, I didn't miss any marbles over here, did I? No. So along with marbles, we'll obviously have to find some golden udders. Fire blaster by holding down the Z button. Keep holding and rotate the control stick to spray your fire. Also, don't worry about ammo, like, for your basic blaster. If you go below 100 bullets, you'll automatically replenish to exactly 100. Oh, hey, there's a hamster. So press C down on it. Press C down to actually use your whip. And that will help you open the door. Good work! Now you can die. <laughs> it was either that or be, like, in wheel purgatory forever. Yeah, I, I just did that. Watch out, Jimmy! Villain, ahoy! Press the B button to dodge his missiles. When you're down, use the control stick to roll about. There's an enemy? Oh, there it is. Oh, I just kept kept rolling. I didn't want to keep rolling forever. Yeah, it was just a single porcupine. Sometimes you'll have to kill enemies to even progress certain rooms. Like this one. Oh, get it? Refrigerators? It was either refrigerators or cows. And look at that, we released a golden udder. So I don't know if I'm going to be getting all the marbles. I'll definitely try to get as many udders as I can. Like, probably enough to finish the game. Marbles, however, is going to be, like, a lot more annoying. Because remember, if you're getting... Trying to collect as many as you can, and then you die, you have to get them all again. Because trust me, I will get upset if I'm at 99 and I die. It's happened before in Banjo-Kazooie, going through Rusty Bucket Bay, 
Dying at 99, because he had to do the goddamn boat engine segment. Oh, hey. Eddie, soldier! You're the sorriest looking chicken I've ever seen! Merciful Mung Beans! It's Colonel Pluckett! The great war hero! That's right, son! And I've got a mission for you! A mission? For me? Ruvy! Those treacherous cows have enlisted the help of the hedgehog mercenaries! The prickly pranksters have stolen my briefs! Your top secret battle plans? No, oh, my underwear! Get them back for me, son! Chicken kind depends on it! No problem, Pluckett! You can debrief me when I get back! Uh... That's a little inappropriate. But okay, we'll go with that. Oh! Watch out for those grenades there! They obviously hurt! They kind of look like eggs more than they do grenades, to be honest with ya. But they do explode when they hit ya, so be careful. Like that, see? Oh hey, it's a bunch of, you know, featherless chickens. Well, I guess they're, you know, baby chicks. I know they weren't probably gonna attack me, but they were in my way. I had to do something. Um, okay. Thought there would be a marble around there. Ah, this camera! I will say that, you know, like, I don't know if Earthworm Jim was meant to be a 3D collectathon, especially when you compare it to, like, all the other games it was. You know, like, 2D side scroller with some weird, like, maybe rear camera shoot em up mechanics. You know, sometimes bungee jumping, sometimes it'd be a race, sometimes you're catching puppies repeatedly. And then just like, it's absolute departure from what it originally was, to now being a 3D collectathon game. Like, it, does, it doesn't seem terrible, like it has its issues. Like, it's not a well-refined game. Y you could play much worse. I mean, you could be playing Bland Wonderworld that came out, like, many, many, many years later. And somehow feel more bootleg than even this. Well, then again, maybe Bland Wonderworld is not bootleg, but it's just done in a way to infuriate pretty much everyone that played like these old school games with a lot of collectathon elements attached and just do them horribly wrong okay so there's gonna be a lot and I mean a lot of those damn uh, hedgehogs to deal with whip the vending machine whip the button on vending machines to get more ammo if it doesn't sparkle the machine may be empty or turned off Alright, so I don't know if you can actually switch different ammo manually. So I might as well just stick with what I have, because it has a like, nice bit of punch to it. Okay, let me just step on this button real quick. To open this door. And I think I need to get through all these doors in order to reach the underpants. Oh, did I see another hedgehog? No, I just saw some... missiles go around. There we go. Yeah, see? It automatically goes to 100 ammo if you're below it. And, yeah. Oh! Didn't smash all the boxes until now. Might as well do that so you can leave yourself a bit of footing. Oh, that guy sucked. How'd this guy get to be a mercenary? I have no idea. Oh, I thought I would just sideswipe it. The rolling is a bit hard to control because you have to remind yourself to hit B again to make yourself stop rolling. Because otherwise you will keep rolling. Keep rolling, rolling, rolling. Okay, 
Okay, is that it with the hedgehogs? Nope, there's more! And I don't know if that's it. Let me go step on this button real quick. I mean, if I pace myself really well, I could end up doing like one stage per video. Like the stages themselves don't seem ridiculously long. I know I could probably got myself more mushrooms, but I'm already doing just fine with this. Oh, nice of you to rear your ugly heads. Gotcha. Okay, I think that's the last button. So I need to go through all these rooms to start moving the underwear somewhere I can reach them. I just wanted to clear out this room first, then I can do all the side rooms. Because the enemies do not replenish when you leave a room and re-enter, which is really helpful. I mean, sure, it'll make some rooms feel empty, but it'll make your life a little bit easier since healing is quite limited. Oh, damn, marbles over there. Why do they have a shadow that close to them? That does not seem right. Wow, nice color for underwear. I must say. So yeah, it only moves like a few feet. Then you gotta do it again. Did I not take down those boxes? Seriously? Okay. So far, so good. I don't think I missed any marbles yet. Uh, again, I'll try to collect as many as I can because I will need them to open doors. Oh, yeah. I don't know if, like, the udders are needed just to get yourself closer to bosses. No way, I don't know what they're for. They're for opening hubs. But I don't know if they're needed to actually reach the boss. Actually, no, I, now that I think about it, you need marbles to reach bosses. Like, marbles to reach new levels and bosses, and otters to open elevators that take you to more hubs and bosses. So I think it all makes... Ah, oh, damn. Seriously? See, I was tapping B and I was still rolling. Not a fan of this. I'm I'm not. It just seems so awkward. Okay, now we can reach the underwear. Okay, we did it. So where exactly did the underwear end up? I think it was back here. So let's go take care of that real quick. Um, where is it? Oh, there it is. Right next to the vending machine. Okay, I'm gonna return the underwear back. Best to just do it now. I know I gotta go a bit farther. I don't roll any faster when I'm going downstairs. That just seems so awkward to me. Like, I just roll the same speed. Even though I'm descending. I don't know why it works that way, but it just does. Wait a minute. You're not who I'm looking for. Holy cow! Where's Colonel Puckett? I am Gunnery Sergeant Mussolini. Oh, Jesus. Hey, let's do puns on dictators, guys. <laughs> the Colonel was being captured and taken to our poultry of war camp. 
Under subsection of the Farmyard Convention, paragraph 8, Directive 97. Okay, I know it was disconnecting. It was actually my Ethernet adapter. I am obliged to return any items of underwear to the prisoner. Go ahead, take them. They don't fit me anyway. It's almost the size of you. Nice, Calvin. Hey, Calvin Cluck. Nice fabric. <laughs> this guy's got taste. You seem like a battle-hardened soldier. We could use your help. Take out the bomb-laying chicken upstairs, or all mincemeat. Never fear! I'll fry that bird in my own special blend of herbs and spices. Remember, soldier, when you dispatch that bird, report to me. Now move it! Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll do that, sir. All right, so I gotta remember to come back here later when I deal with a chicken that's disp dispensing the grenades. Ow. One of them just hit me. All right, so let's see where we gotta go to find this chicken. I guess I should just move forward to what I've been doing. Let's take care of that real quick. Ah, damn. Took me a while to get out of roll animation, I couldn't even go left. I see how it is. I see how it is. What I also see is that now I can probably go through those double doors. You know, the ones at the end of this hallway? You can probably go through them now. Oh god, it's disconnecting again! Alright, I'm just gonna unplug it completely. And then not plug it back in. I think that might be a little bit better. So that can leave us alone. Besides, I usually mostly need it for streaming anyway. Because sometimes whenever I stream, the frame rate just collapses. Or rather, the bit rate collapses for no reason. So I never did that before. So that's why I had to go with a wired connection. Oh, I'm as smart as a waffle. Waffles are pretty smart. They give themselves these little holes to trap syrup. Because they know that's what the masses want. Pain. Yeah, the, the masses want pain. pain. Did you know? Oh. I feel great. Okay, watch where you're going. I want to go through that other side door. Thank you. And not get hit by a grenade. Well, luckily, I'm already at full health, so I have nothing to worry about. Um... Can't be that much left of the stage, is there? Oh my god, it's grenades! Oh, it'll be a happy time when that chicken's finally gone. Also, that's gotta be a painful life if your eggs are explosive. Like, what's going on in your system? Can't be anything good. I'm just saying. Okay, I got 87 marbles. That's some Sidney Crosby numbers right there. I only need one more utter. And I know where that is. Okay, we don't need to go that way yet. Uh-oh. Oh, the praying spray's not working from all the way over here. Oh. Oh, God. Oh, God, that's a mine. I didn't trust myself not to deal with knockback on this. Also, this camera angle sucks. I wonder if I can actually shoot at those mines. Something tells me I can't, because they're so low. Okay, last room, I think. Oh, there's the chicken I'm looking for! Well, well, well. 
I think it's high time we put an end to this right freaking now. Yeah, see another hamster. Um, God, this camera angle is so bad. You, do something. Yep, that was the one way to get rid of the chicken. Just use a freaking hamster. That was it. Okay, I'm gonna keep that hamster alive because it's doing its service. It fulfilled a great deed in this time of need. So why would I get rid of it now? Dude, there's still some porcupines around. I feel great. This is not gonna hit. All marbles found! Yeah, good stuff. Okay, it's no, it's not dead? Oh! That is just dickish, but it didn't kill me. So if you fall, you don't instantly die. I didn't even look like I took any HP worth of damage either. I think it just sends me back to the beginning of the room. Oh, seriously? I can't even make the jump from there? Oh, come on! Wow, it's it's doing a perfect shot every time! There, it's dead! I think the hearts just give you extra lives. So I thought it was going to give me back to full HP, but that's not how it works. The more lives I collect, the better, I obviously. I don't know if I leave a level, do the lives come back? Oh, nice of you to just show up here. Outstanding work. You've earned this, soldier. Wear him with pride. There's the extraction point. Now move out! Wow, they even count the number of steps you take. I wonder what purpose that even serves, or is this just for show? It's like, look at this guy working his Fitbit. Yes, I want to leave. So there you go. Hey. Back from the war zone, eh? Remember, never give up the good fight. All right, well, there's the door to Psycho if I want to fight him. Until you're as clever as most accountants, this door will not open. Go find one more marble. I only need to grab one in this next stage, and then I can just go face the boss. That's hilarious. Save and quit? I don't want to save and quit yet. But I will end the episode here, so in the next part, we'll go to stage two. See everyone, thanks for watching.